am so excited for this video because the Claro Psych um, Sykes box palette came out and it is everything I have been waiting for in makeup everything I've wanted in makeup um, Juliana I will put her social media below who created this palette is such an incredible artist I'm so like proud of her and I'm so inspired by um, this whole palette so um, I'm so excited to show it to you. So I just wanted to show you this is the packaging. Um, the front has the Sykes box with the kind of rainbow pattern behind and the black of course is incredibly beautiful as well. The palette is vegan and cruelty free. I believe it was $45. I'll put the correct price on the screen. Um, and this is the palette. So the logo, of course, like I knew it was gonna be, is so beautiful. Of course, on the back, um, she has her brand's logo and all of the colors. Maybe one of my favorite things about it is the fact that it says classic and vibrant shades to create whatever you want, no rules. And I can't express like how much I've wanted that message to come from brands, how much if I ever develop makeup, I would want to give that message to the people who buy my products. Um, so I just think it's amazing that she encourages everybody to express themselves and be an individual and not feel like you have to fit into a certain box. And I know for me personally, like something that I always struggled with was feeling like I have to so strictly fit into the gender norm that was set up for me. I just adore the fact that um, this palette says that on the back. So here is the inside of the palette. Um, again, I mean, I genuinely cannot think of a palette that I would want more than this one. The colors are perfect. The names are very adorable. Um, I have played with it in a couple of looks on Instagram already and I will just swatch like three of the shades for you just to give you an idea. Just keep in mind, um, for me personally, I don't like swatches. I don't care about them, um, but I understand that some people do. Um, I just care more about how they apply to my face. So for kind of pastel -y shades, they have very beautiful swatches, unsurprisingly. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a fucking beautiful palette. And more importantly than swatches, even though they were great, is they have blended beautifully for me and applied beautifully. So um, I'm gonna do kind of an avant-garde look today. Um, it might turn out bad, but we're going to just be expressive today. I feel like I have not done one of these videos where I just kind of do whatever comes to mind. So the only kind of uh, guide I have for this look is I want to kind of base it off of this eye look from my Instagram. So obviously I have foundation and powder on. Um, I always feel kind of like a naked mole rat on camera when <laughs> this is all I have on. But you know what? It's fine. I just don't really care anymore. So I think for this look, I want to start with the eyeliner portion. Um, the part of the reason why I don't do looks like this super often on YouTube is because I get very close to the mirror in real life when I do these. So I'm trying to kind of train myself to sit farther back so you can actually see what I'm doing. Why? Why do I always drink coffee before this? Like, I'm still drinking it. I just... And then I want to kind of have the line kind of... Let me think. Kind of squiggle down, I think. Okay, so I feel like I have a pretty good base shape of what I want to do. Um, when it comes to the eyeliner part, I can always go back in after I blend the shadow and darken it. So with a relatively flat brush, I'm going into this darker green shade here. And we're always going to keep the darker shades closest to the line that we drew. And I'm just smoothing the shadow on. Now I barely dipped into the shadow and there's no primer or anything and it's 
looks just like the shade in the pan. So I'm extremely happy with that. And this is kind of how I like to work. I don't like having to, you know, apply crazy bases or anything. So I feel like that's exactly what I would want from this palette. Okay, so as we move down, let's continue this green. Just wipe this brush off on a towel. I'm gonna use this red shade right here as the next shade. And then I'm gonna use a lot of orange to blend it out when we come back. And again, barely tap my brush and look at that. And when we go back in with the eyeliner, I can really kind of clean up those edges. And I really kind of wanna go for an odd color <laughs> combination today. So I'm thinking, let me think. Well, I'm actually gonna blend it out with the orange a little bit right now so I can get a better idea of what this is gonna look like because I don't want it to really read super red. So when it comes to blending shadows like this, I really like to, as you see, I'm just kind of sloppy with it. I place my colors down and then I can go back in with a blending brush and really make things more seamless and blend together. I'm just kind of getting a color map down at this point. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Baby Jane, which is that beautiful light lavender to kind of finish it off because I wanna keep this color combination very kind of unexpected. Stay away from my usual primary. Are you guys getting the vibe? I know it looks insane right now, but I also think I'm gonna be putting on winged eyeliner and doing some sparkle and some other things, so stick with me here. I'm gonna go in with Sprite to, which is the lighter green, to start blending out that green. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm realizing is this is almost reminding me of her, of like a butterfly, of like her logo, and that was totally subconscious. I'm gonna move to an angled brush and go in with the red a little bit closer to the line. I'm gonna take some of um, Phantom right here, the perfect like shadow shade, and I'm gonna use that to deepen the purple area. And I'm going to take the white, which is a very pigmented white, I was playing with it the other day, and kind of just blend a little bit of it at the edges of all the colors make sure that they just kind of fade. Basically after repeating that process a couple more times till I'm happy with how it looks, here's where we're at. Um, all of the colors blended so easily. It's not something you have to struggle to blend with at all. I'm so happy. Um, milk Makeup, Kush Brow and Grind. I'm going to put on some winged liner and mascara um, and then come back to you for final touches. extremely frustrating to say the least. Basically all my eyeliners are running out of ink and so all of this line work and my eyeliner just took forever. I had to keep like rubbing my eyeliner on my hand but besides that um, I still I like how it's looking. It's not as absolutely perfect as I would like it but um, I do like how it's turning out. So I'm just gonna throw on some Kush mascara. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do a light amount of contouring with the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Palette, the powder shade. So for highlight, I'm using the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush. Um, I'm just kind of using the two powder shades. The diamond powder is really going to add a lot of sparkles, which mostly I just think will photograph nicely. Last step, I really thought about it and I decided to just use the Generation G from Glossier and Like and just kind of put it in the center of my lip and blend it out because it'll just kind of mirror the blending in the rest of the look. And so I'm just gonna put in some footage of this look at the end. Um, I feel like it's no surprise that I don't have one negative thing to say about this palette. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.